Well, look at this, guys. Does it get any better than that? So Tingana on the right, Kuchava on the left. There's the beautiful big Tingana looking as stately as ever. And the beautiful Kuchava on the left-hand side. Now, for those of you who don't know who Kuchava is, that is the daughter of Tandi, the leopard we saw last night. And so it was her last cub that she had. And as far as I know, she has mated a few times, but she's yet to produce a litter, which is exciting news. So it looks like she's come into an area where Tandi has spent a lot of time around Chitwa. And I wonder if this is not where she's going to end up denning if she does fall pregnant. It would be amazing if we have her on Chitwa, Tandi on Juma, and then we get to see the lineage carry on. Because remember, this is still Karula's lineage as Tandi is the daughter. And how cool is that to see the two of them positioned on top of the mound? It is as good as it gets. Now, like I say, there are unfortunately lots and lots of cars that want to come in here. So we're not going to get a long segment, long sighting of them. But it doesn't get better than that. When you've got two leopards sitting on top of a mound the way these two are, it is really about as good as anyone could really ask for. And you can see the nice, the size difference between the two of them. If you look at the size of his shoulders and his chest compared to hers, you can see how much bigger that... Tingana is. Now, David, Tom, you're asking what Kuchava means. Kuchava means basically it's like shy, as far as I'm right. Is that right, Senzo? It's like to be shy or to be wary of something. So it probably was because this little leopard, when it was still a cub, was a fairly sort of wary of cars and used to move away and it wasn't very relaxed. And that's why it's gotten the name Kuchava. So that's Normally, if you say something is Chava, it's it's unrelaxed. It's not something that will allow you to view it much, and that's where the name comes from for her. But she is beautiful, and you can see she's become very relaxed now. She doesn't worry about us at all. As she's become independent, we've been able to spend more time with her. And I know a lot of you are saying you've never seen her before. We used to see her a lot more when we were on Cheetah Plains and traversing Cheetah Plains. She spends time in that area. I remember I had a sighting of her very close to Cheetah Plains open, actually, which was quite cool. So she moved. she's moved a lot. And I think with the shifting of Tandi into Juma, so that's allowed Kuchava to start shifting from in Koro, Cheetah Plains side, more towards Chitwa side. And we can't complain. I mean, if we're going to get to see another female leopard and another sort of development and particularly a young female because remember we we don't have many young females tandy shadow they're older individuals and if we can get a sort of three and a half year old female that's going to start having her first litters this might become another legacy that's going to carry on in the years to come of safari live so it's great to have another female and for those of you who want to check any of the spot patterns or want to look for noticeable marking sensors just doing a little sweep of her body so you guys can get some screenshots and get some markings that will be able to identify her but you can see they're both tired i suppose it's been a long afternoon of walking around and mating so it's probably why they're so tired now razor you say they, she looks so much like her mom. She does, doesn't she? She's got a little bit of her mom look to her. But there's also, there's or whoever the father is, has also got a bit in there. She seems to have a little bit more of a boxy face than what Tandi has. Tandi seems to have a more rounder face. She's got a little bit more of a boxy face. And in fact, I've actually shown her a photo to a number of people, and they often comment that she has a little bit more of a masculine look than what Tandi does. But she is beautiful. She's a very pretty leopard. And I know this is Taylor's absolute favorite leopard. So, Taylor, I hope that you are watching and if you're not watching well i'm sure she'll be excited to know that we got to see kuchava and that there's an update on her because taylor loves this leopard and always used to go looking for her on cheetah plane so i'm super glad that we got to catch up with her and she's looking as good as you could imagine the last time i saw her she was a little bit smaller and she's grown a little bit she's filled out and she really is growing into a beautiful leopardess you can see her nose is starting to darken as well so the pink is disappearing ever so slightly and slowly but surely we'll find that that nose will become very dark and beautiful clean ears of a young leopard as well so oh, are you sleepy my girl i see your boyfriend is also sleeping at the moment he's completely out cold as well as tingana likes to do it's nice to actually see tingana sitting for once we are generally with him and he's moving around all over the place now the interesting thing is that she's come off a carcass so it's interesting that she was eating a carcass yesterday and then now is with Tingana. I wonder if Tingana didn't rob, has robbed her of it. And that's why that carcass is now finished and then they've joined together to start mating. Whether she's in a proper Easter cycle is anyone's guess. But I would imagine that the two of them are mating for real because apparently today they have mated quite a bit. So and I'm sure they are mating and maybe they just finished off the carcass together and then they've now started this mating, which will last for about three days. Now, 
Karen, you say Kuchava means scared, or like I say, I mean, it's scared is probably not. I mean, that is, a, I suppose, a direct translation, but out here, if we say something is chava, it means that it's unrelaxed. So we refer to an animal as chava. It's, it's unrelaxed. It's not an animal that is easy to view, and that's why she was called kuchava. So scared, I suppose, is the direct translation, or shy. I sp well, tingana is actually shy. That's the name for tingana. So we've got shy and scared, which neither of them look like they are anything to suggest what their names are. But remember when Tingana arrived, he was also quite secretive and elusive. And like I say, Kuchawa was the same when she was a cub. So that's why they both inherited those kind of secretive names as they went along. So they make a fitting pair, don't they? And you can see they've chosen probably the best spot that we could have asked for. Where we are now is not a great place for us. Our signal is very bad down here. And in fact, before we did the upgrade to the Chitwa mast, we would never have been able to do a segment here or even been able to see these leopards. So the fact that they've lay where they they are is just the best news if they'd gone 20 meters north of where we are now there's not a chance I would have been able to get to the sighting and we wouldn't have been able to see them so we can be very thankful that they decided to stop on top of a mound for us this afternoon which is really really cool but just look at the size of his neck in comparison to her she's at least got her head up for us which is nice hopefully he'll pop his head up just now as well and we'll be in a situation where we can at least get both of them with heads up that opening shot of the two of them kind of looking around was just fantastic wasn't it it really kind of worked very well to see the two of them together it would be nice also if we got a bit of a mating session it would be really really good if we could see some sort of mating going on it's been a long time since we've had mating live on camera we had Tundi and Tingana but I don't think we ever got it on camera or maybe Tara did I think Tara did but that was well over a month ago and can't never get enough of mating leopards although Megan would disagree Megan is a is a big protester of the mating cat she does not uh, enjoy their mating she says that it is gross so Megan don't worry if, if it is I'll tell you to close your eyes and you can not watch what goes on <laughs> so Megan says thank you very much which is good but our leopard luck continues it seems to be Every time we come to Chitwa, we've had a leopard as well, which is really amazing. So, Jake, the father of Kuchava, I'm not 100% sure. I, I would imagine it's either Shivambalan or it's Tingana. Look, she's going to go up to him and she's going to initiate the mating. Look, Senzo, I'm going to roll back slightly for you. I'm just going to try and go back a little bit so that Senzo can see a bit better. There we go. Look, so she's trying to initiate it. She's the one rubbing up on him. And this is what the females do. How oh, cool is this, guys? Look, and there he goes. He's going to get up. <laughs> so that is exactly what happens when mating happens, is that they will go after one another, and they will That's fight up. with one another, and they will claw at one another, and they will bite with one another. And and that is mm -hmm. because when he mates with her, he actually has a barb on the end of his penis, and so when he pulls out, it actually hurts her, and that's when this growling and hissing carries on, and they then slap and claw at one another. But unfortunately, that means that Tingana is now up and moving, and our chances of following them are going to be quite slim. We're going to try our very best. I don't think we are going to be able to keep signal inside here, but I definitely am going to try. But how cool was that? It doesn't get any better than what we've just seen right now. That is the best way to have experienced leopards, and to have mated where they did right on top was just absolutely phenomenal. So that was super, super cool, and we got very, very lucky to be able to see that. Now, I am